Hey, what's going on, everybody? You're watching Dual Shockers TV on DualShockers.com. We're here checking out some new guitar here with Jim Norris, the designer from Freestyle, Handsome Devil over here. Uh, gotta say, big fan of Guitar Hero, as everybody in this room is, and everybody all around the world. You also worked on DJ Hero, so kudos to him for that as well. Thank you. Um, so we had a chance to sit down. We've seen a couple of reveals. Let's get right into it. I mean, we're kind of breaking this up into three parts, if you will. We got Guitar Hero Live, Guitar Hero TV, and a brand new gameplay. So let's start with Live and what people can expect from that. So uh, the main difference with Live is this time we, we actually filmed real crowds and um, real bandmates. We hired bands to play on stage with you, and you're you're in the first person perspective. You're inside the head of the of the guitar player now. So before it was sort of cartoony on stage, a ghost camera sort of floating around. We've changed it so that we wanted to create the experience of you feeling like the rock star. So through succeeding and doing really, really well or playing really bad and feeling that sheer terror of just of disappointing your bandmates, disappointing your fans. Um, and there's no kick out this time. So if you're playing bad, you gotta stick it out. For you the get whole to song. suffer through that whole song yeah, exactly. with your bandmates. Now it's interesting because it's all it's not CGI. This is all you know, kind of film. We are as watching a couple people play. You can see that those emotions on the people in the crowd. It kind of pans into them, and they're either booing you or cheering you. And then your bandmates too. Your bandmates kind of give you this look of like, "Hey, what are you doing?" Kind, yeah. of, kind of situation. Well, it's it's a blend of of both really. So there is some CG going on, but it's it's. The guys at Freestyle did such a great job uh, that you can't really tell. So some some of the stages we had up to like 400 extras, um, and those are in the front. But then you know we drop a green screen behind it and we we use some magic and make it look like a, a massive arena. So it really makes you feel like you're in these different venues uh, through through each different set. So so gone is the the cartoon style. Gone is all the all the buttons too. This is a totally new peripheral now. So I'll let you talk a little bit about this this beauty here. Yeah. So we wanted to, you know, when we brought it back, we said we we would only do it if we we had something really awesome to bring to the table. So instead of five button gameplay, we've got six buttons now. But they're not six in a row. There's three on top and three on the bottom. Right. So, so you know, so gone is the pinky madness. Don't now. have to use. <laughs> we we call it the danger pinky in the office. So you don't have to use the pinky anymore. You start with your hand on three buttons, you ease into it, get used to the new highway and what everything looks okay. like, and then you start stepping up the difficulty, you have some easy transitions up to that top row, all the way up to the to the hardest difficulty where it gets uh, gets pretty crazy. I, I was gonna say, not you know, first thing I heard was three buttons, I'm like, ah, oh, they dumbed it down, they made it easy, so everybody, quite the opposite. We saw a couple guys here kind of fall flat on their faces, kind of trying to figuring it out. Their brain is telling them one thing, the fingers are doing something else. So it is a, a brand new mechanic, a brand new style. And you guys are kind of going back to your roots of old Guitar Hero, like that Guitar Hero 1 kind of feel. You know, gone is, hey, bass and singing and all this other stuff. Let's let's get into the hardcore yeah, guitar. Yeah, we're definitely focusing on guitar for this because, you know, we want to get people used to the new, the new way to play. And you know, if you were good at GH before, you'll definitely have like a leg up on people who have never played before. But there's something new, even if you played every Guitar Hero in the past, this this is going to be a new challenge for you. So we're really excited. It's easy to pick up, you know, but it's really, really hard to, to master that top end. So we think that people are really going to be challenged by it. And it looks great, feels great. Um, we had a fun time kind of watching people play. And then we got a little taste of Guitar Hero TV. So now this is a cool segment. This is kind of um, a persistent world, if you will, almost like it's all it's all online. So this none of this exists on on your console. Um, so let's walk a little bit through that. What, are, what can people expect from that GH TV kind of uh, experience? Well, so you know the you know I'm old, so I have vinyl. But other than that, I don't own any CDs or any other media really. Like I, I get it all on the internet, and I think a lot of people since the last GH are are getting their music in different ways. Mm -hmm. So we, we thought about that when we were creating GHTV. And so we've created these these channels, TV channels, just like regular TV. You turn it on, you might be in the middle of a song, but you can play along with that song. And you're playing along with that song with everybody else in the world who's who's on GHTV at that time. Um, also, if you want to, people, people also like to, you know, play the songs that they want to play. But you earn the ability to play songs just from participating in our in GHTV, playing in the channels. So you can go into the catalog if you missed like half of a song you want to play it, you can play it. So there's there's lots of different ways that people can get to the music, and we're going to be adding new songs to this constantly. Um, and there's no subscription or DLC here, so it's it's like a new platform. It's really easy for us to kind of add new things to it. So we're really excited to see what the community thinks about it and. and 
we want to get feedback from people to let to let us know what else we can do. I got to tell you, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, going into this new era of games, everybody talks DLC. Like games don't don't even release, and it's like day one DLC. And you guys are kind of flipping it on its head now, saying gone is the gone are the hey let's pay ninety nine cents per song kind of deal. We're just gonna throw this at you, and every so often there'll be new songs and new things. And I gotta say, it's, that's a cool, kind of a breath of fresh air, if you will, because so many people, like I said, that day one DLC gets pretty annoying uh, you know, yeah. after some time. Well, yeah, I mean, it's all it's all available right out of the box, you know. And but but also, if people want to make their own collections, you are able to to purchase permanent access to songs for real money. <laughs> but again, it's not necessary. It's right. we're just giving options because people like to have things in different ways. So. We wanted to make sure that we addressed all of those different ways. Which is kind of cool, and I'm glad you brought that up. It's, it's kind of what you guys are calling on demand for now. It, you know, it's, it's kind of like what you got halfway through your movie, and you're like, damn, I wanted to watch the beginning of that. So let's go back. Let's you know pay a buck or whatever it may be, turn out to be. Or like you said, you got your friends coming over. Let's buy everything. Let's have everything set up so we can have a, a killer party and just you know rock out with guitar here. Like, yeah. That's... That's kind of a cool way to look at it, you know. And you know, if you're younger and you you know, young kids don't don't have like a lot of spending cash either. So just from playing in GHTV, you can earn the ability to play a song on demand. Um, so we wanted to make sure that there were options available to people who don't want to spend extra money, um, in addition to options available for those that do. So you, you can or you don't have to. It's just we, we wanted to make sure that there were a lot of choices for people to discover new music. Right. And and I know there was a couple of things about like special events that are going to pop up. And one of the things I found interesting as well is there are certain songs you need to do in order to, let's say, open up those events. But it's not so much of a grind because it might be songs that you already did. So yeah. it's like, hey, yeah, I finished that Taylor Swift song. She won't be in this game. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't quote any songs, please, sir. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but if you finish those songs already, you know, Okay, that last song, you can go back and try to play it or find it or, hey, all right, let me just unlock it now and kind of move, th progress through through it and, and kind of knock it out. That's pretty good. You should just do this for me. That was pretty <laughs> pretty good. Uh, yeah, so like our, our premium content is is really cool. It's kind of like a concert. And uh, to, to go to a concert, you have to have a ticket. So you, you do the challenges. Like you said, you could either find them on the channels, look at the schedule and say, oh, this show coming up here is probably going to have that song in it, so I'll play that show. You could use one of the plays that you've already earned. Or if you want to, you could just get right into it with real money and, and play the show. And they're limited time too, so um, it's a great way for us to showcase stuff that we'll be adding into the series. Mm -hmm. Also, it's a great way for us to do exclusive stuff that maybe no one in the world has seen at all until we put it into GHTV. So it's it's really exciting. We can we can kind of do anything with with GHTV Premium. Kind of even gives you a possibility to possibly debut bands if if that comes up or you know um, open up special content maybe uh, some special power-ups or things that you might get so um, very cool I thought it's, it's an interesting again an interesting spin on things I guess from your perspective I mean how do you get the old fans or how do you pull the new fans in and how do you kind of manage that you know that mix or blend getting them into this this new guitar here well I think um, you know there are a lot of kids out there who had never had a chance to play any any rhythm action games you know it was kind of they kind of stopped for a while and then they became hardcore gamers and they never had the chance so we think this is a great a great way for them to to get to experience what we came to love in, in rhythm action games and, and the old fans you know we've got we've got tons of songs in there that they're gonna love and we've also got some stuff that maybe they don't know they're gonna love but you know, we at Freestyle think we've got pretty good musical taste, and we listen to what what the kiddies are into. So, you know, there's something in it for everybody, and I think the new gameplay is going to be challenging for old school GH players, and it's going to be easy enough to pick up for new players. So, we've kind of, I think, I think we're, we've covered all of them. I think yeah, I guess it was impressive seeing the actual videos of you know some of those old songs in there, making me feel old. Some people that didn't even know what they were. Um, so it's going to be kind of cool to, to share that experience with different people of different age groups as well. Um, you know, like a throwback, or for some people they had never seen it before. You know, it's kind of cool. Um, but so far everything's looking good. Can't wait to see more. I know you guys have a lot more kind of in the pipe to, to talk about and announce. Um, we're looking forward to it, guys. Guitar Hero's looking really good. New peripherals, new gameplay, new everything, new experience. So make sure you get on it. Jim, thank you very much. Appreciate Thanks, it. Good to meet you. And we're out, guys.